they had to break into other laboratories to steal glucose to make enough Gatorade for the Gators. It may not be surprising to you to hear the popular sports drink Gatorade was created at the University of Florida. Well, the innovator behind that drink left a legacy to inspire future inventors. Dr. Robert Cade is considered the father of Gatorade, but he wasn't a member of the Florida football staff. When my dad was recruited to the University of Florida, it was to a brand new medical school. Florida did not have a medical school in the 1950s and the early 50s. If you wanted to study medicine, you had to go to a different state. So University of Florida is the first public medical school in this state. My dad was recruited to open the division of renal medicine to teach the new graduates in the art of the kidney. One of the first kidney experiments was actually turned out to be Gatorade. And a lot of people don't know the connection between the kidney and the Gatorade. Kate and his students befriended a security guard at Shan's teaching hospital. This security guard was also an assistant coach on the Florida football team. 15 of his players had ended up in the infirmary the night before from water deprivation and heat stroke. So my dad thought, well, that's not good, and started asking questions. And then it turned out that the, the security guard slash assistant football coach said, my players never pee during the why, why don't they pee during a game? And my dad, being the kidney doctor, thought, that's a really interesting question. Let's get to the bottom of this. I know I have a solution that will help the Gators. The head coach gave them permission to experiment with a freshman team if the players agreed, but they could not test it on the varsity players. Ten freshmen were willing to participate. They had to subject themselves to temperature controls throughout the game, blood, collected sweat and gloves, urine samples, and over the course of the week, they collected all of this data, brought it back to the lab, this very lab, and tested what was going on with the human body. With the collected data, they were able to figure out what needed to be added to the body to rehydrate the players. You need sodium, but it doesn't enter the body on its own. It has to connect with a glucose molecule, then it's ushered into the body, and once it's there, it draws water behind it. My dad always said, where sodium goes, water flows. All excited, they go back to the Gators. Here it is, ta-da, to the freshman team. And they refused to drink it because it was putrid. And it was Cade's wife who solved that problem. And she said, well, Bob, add lemon. Lemon covers up a lot of flavors. So my mom, the housewife, who's not even thinking of herself as a, an inventor, and certainly not a scientist, saved the Gatorade experiment from failure. With the new flavoring, the freshman team drank the formula. And not only did they drink it, in the toilet bowl, an annual scrimmage between the freshman and varsity B, the freshman team won. The first time ever in Gator history. So the coach at that point said, gosh, I gotta have this for the LSU game next week. The doctors went back again to this lab, not enough glucose. So they had to break into other laboratories to steal glucose to make enough Gatorade for the Gators. But they left IOU notes. And the Gators won against the LSU in a big upset on the fourth quarter because they were hydrated. Most people associate Gatorade with sports, but in reality, the science had a global impact. So it used to be that the fourth leading cause of death worldwide before Gatorade was death by dehydration. You're talking about people with intestinal diseases, cholera, Ebola, any type of disease that you lose all of your electrolytes, you will die from dehydration because the salt is what holds the water in the body. It used to be that if you were very sick, you would have to go to a hospital to get an IV. But in the third world and many rural communities, that's not possible. So this oral rehydration solution, the first of its kind, is behind every electrolyte pack that you see in the third world. To the man, to the doctor, each of them thought that was the most significant part, even more than the Gators winning a game. 